What's up guys, Sam here and today we have a 2024 LEGO League special with brand new set reveals including the UCS TIE Interceptor and the Battle Droid Troop Carrier. Also, I am giving away a free sealed copy of the Clones v Droids Battle Pack and all you have to do to enter this giveaway is follow my Instagram account and comment down on this video. Strap yourselves in. So starting off with the reveal of set 30685, the final gift with purchase set for May 4th this year, a TIE Interceptor poly bag and as we can see, LEGO is following the pattern of release a small poly bag version alongside the main UCS set. But before we get to that UCS reveal, while I was recording this video, we actually had another set leaked with set 40676, the Phantom Menace Brickheads collection. Now, this is actually the most nostalgic episode one set for its 25th anniversary, and we have Jar Jar Binks, Pod Racer Anakin, Queen Padme, Captain Panaka, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Darth Maul included. Now, Brickheads just don't do it for me, but this is a great lineup of iconic characters. But let's get on to this next set because I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. We finally have a full reveal of set 75382, the UCS TIE Interceptor, which releases on May 1st and retails at $240. And this is following the recent Fangfighter Beast TIE Interceptor playset, and of course the TIE Interceptor's appearance in Mandalorian Season 3. Now, starting off with the minifigures here, LEGO has gone with an exclusive TIE Pilot minifigure, which we already knew. And the second anticipated minifigure is going to be the legendary Mouse Droid, which does feel a little bit lacking at $240, you kind of want to see two exclusive minifigures. But taking a closer look at the set, this is very much a black and grey display set for fans of TIE Fighters and the Empire, but the ship itself, it does look good, the design is there. We have the display stand, the UCS printed tile, along with the 25th anniversary brick. But overall, to be honest, I just think that there were more iconic and overdue choices for the 25th anniversary May 4th UCS set. Moving on, we had a huge reveal for the Trade Federation. As many of you will know, this year's main May 4th gift with purchase set is set 40686, the Trade Federation Troop Carrier, which comes with 262 pieces and is available when you spend $160 starting May 1st, 2024. And we finally have an official full reveal of this set, which will include six regular battle droids and two pilot droids, and as we can see, the design is clearly a nostalgic nod to the original 2001 set 7126. The main design is basically the same, particularly around the front section, and also with how the battle droids are stored for transport. But the main changes to this edition are the back section, which takes inspiration from set 75086, the more recent battle droid troop carrier, with the curved bricks and the weapon storage section. Overall, it's a nice middle ground between these two original sets, and it looks like a really cool little build. But the big issue here, and I think we kind of all know what it is, is that this set is basically a Battle Droid Battle Pack, and it's locked behind a $160 gift with purchase paywall. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, because if this had been a $20 Droid Battle Pack, this would have sold incredibly well. LEGO has been neglecting the Trade Federation and Droid Armies for a while now, and this year, for 25 years of Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, we could have got an updated MTT for an $160 price point. But instead, we have got this gift with purchase Battle Droid Troop Carrier. I do think it's being released in the wrong way, but it is a very cool set. Which means we have the entire LEGO Star Wars May 4th lineup of sets fully revealed for 2024, and so we can look to what's left, with the main mysteries being set 75392, an unknown buildable creature, including 25th anniversary Young Leia, releasing on August 1st, and of course, set 40755, a mystery celebration set with seven minifigures, including Stormtroopers, Rebel Fleet Troopers, and 25th Anniversary R2KT, which is releasing on October the 1st. Next up, very quickly, I wanted to do a quick collecting check, as I've recently got back into collecting LEGO Lord of the Rings and started my elf army, and today I added the Lothlorien Elf Warrior Haldir to my collection, along with the Mirkwood Elf Army set, which has some printed shields, and of course, King Thranduil. But if you guys picked up any new mini figures or sets recently, let me know down in those comments. Anyways, as soon as I know more about any 2024 leaks, I will update you guys. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.